Um, great. So I'm going to get you ready for the performance here tonight. Welcome to our live Zoom improv show. We are Brooklyn Improv Training, and Brooklyn Improv Training is a program of Letter of Mark Theater Company. We are a nonprofit 501c3, and our mission is to spread ensemble culture through inclusive, responsive, and accessible theater. For more details and info about that, you can visit our website at www.lomtheater.org. And that's also in your chat to check out later in case you're interested in those things there. Um, what we've been doing here is that um, we've been meeting weekly for improv Zoom hangs. And we've been adapting games from our classes for the Zoom theater. Um, the weekly hangs have been for those who've already been in our improv community or for those who have been willing and had the desire to experiment with online improv. And uh, they've been free to the, the community. What you're going to see tonight is two forms of improv and that they're going to be inspired by your suggestions. And you'll hear more about that in a moment. I'd like to introduce the team here. Crystal Marie, Charles. Jessica, Kenny, and Adam. <laughs> I am Scarlett Marissa Rivera. Over here is Nolan Kennedy. Uh, we are the co-founders of Letter of Mark Theater Company and the creators of Brooklyn Improv Training. Um, a few things to keep note of. Please, when we are in performance, keep your sound and video on mute. I'm also here to take care of any problems, but please, if you could do that. This is most optimally viewed in gallery view. So if you went up to the corner, if you're new to Zoom, there's a speaker view and a gallery view. If you're in gallery view, you can see the full performance theater. And there's also one more uh, a thing where you can hide non-video participants. So you just don't see a bunch of black boxes of people there. That'll be in the middle of your screen. And if you have any questions or need help, you can always chat me, okay? And uh, this set will be about 25 minutes long. I now hand it over to Nolan. Hey, I'm so excited to get started. Uh, as Scarlett said, yes, we want your videos off, but before you get so comfortable sitting there, uh, for this next part, uh, our, our players, we've been warming up. Uh, we're already ready to go. We are ready to play. But we want to make sure that you, the audience, is also warmed up. So this is a little bit of a at-home activity. Uh, if you want to participate, feel free. Um, if you'd like to participate and turn on your video, then definitely feel free. It's super fun. All you'll need is a, 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 a something to sit on or something to stand on. Uh, that's uh, you don't need to climb on anything, but you'll just be doing the sitting or standing. So if you're not, uh, if you don't have your videos on at home, no worries. I to highly encourage uh, you to play along though. I'm gonna sing a folk song. I'm gonna sing a, a real brief folk song uh, from Scotland. And every time I sing a word that's... Uh, I'm gonna ask you to either sit up or, 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 or uh, sorry, sit up, stand up or sit down, change your state. So if you're sitting now, anytime I say a word with a B, uh, you will then stand up. The next word with a B, uh, you will then sit down. It's quite simple. There's no wrong doing it. It's just having fun playing and, and, and doing it along. Oh, some people are coming on. It's like wonderful, wonderful. All right, so I'm going to sing this song. Players, you ready? Give me a, a wave and a wiggle. Great. Audience out there, you ready too? Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Here we go. <clears throat> My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. <laughs> so bring back my bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, bring <laughs> back. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Yay! Yay! Give it up for yourselves. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, audience. Thank you for all those who played at home. Audience, go ahead and turn off your uh, video and your sound, and we're about to get this show moving.
Uh, the way this is going to work is our players are going to first do, they're going to do two kinds of improv forms. The first one tonight is called a Martha. One player at a time is going to enter the scene as some sort of object in the scene, as some sort of uh, piece that's in some unknown room. One at a time, they will enter describing themselves as they enter until so all five of them are in the room, and then they'll all know magically somehow what room they are in. Then, immediately after that, a monologue will begin based on what was discovered in that Martha. Uh, then the players will engage in a game called a countdown. Uh, one player at a time will add to the scene until we have a scene of five people. And once we have that scene of five people, then we go back to the, the four-person scene, and then back to a three-person scene, and then back to a two-person scene, and then back to the monologue to end the whole thing. Uh, all of this is going to be inspired by a suggestion that we're going to be getting from Scarlett here in just a moment. We're going to do two sets of this, and I'm so excited to get started. Scarlett, Scarlett, what's the suggestion? Okay, uh, to help me randomize this more, I need uh -huh. you to pick a number between 1 and 15. Ooh, uh, 14. Okay, the suggestion is hen in my hair. A guide to finding fun hairstyles that are bird friendly. Players, hen in my hair. A guide to finding hairstyles that are bird friendly. Anybody can begin. I am a strand of ribbon and I am making a nest. I am the comb, and I am in a giant vat of formaldehyde for disinfecting purposes. I am a huge afro, and I'm here for any bird that wants to make a nest out of me. I am a tiny little curly hair also known as a pubic hair, and I am very confused why I am attached to this comb. I am a dead baby chick that fell out of the afro nest. We, we are, are a bird, bird, bird nest hair. Nest hair. 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 We, we We are a bird's nest hair salon. All right. So, do you know sometimes how you see dead birds um, in the in the middle of the road? Um, do you ever wonder like how they died? Like. Did they get run over first and then that's how they died? Or did they like die in midair or like die of natural causes? <laughs> like when, when birds die of natural causes, what, how, how does that work? You know, <laughs> like uh, what, what's a natural bird death cause? I've never really thought about that. But then like, do they just like- Jim, Jim, you've got to put your seat belt Ugh. on. Oh, Patty, you are the, you've been the worst driver I've ever been married to. All right, well, I mean, you aren't any good at it either, okay? I'm sorry I'm blind. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what happens, all right? That's what happens when you're mean to your wife. You yeah, that's what it. happens when you have the sharpest scissors in the house. Well, you wanted a haircut, didn't you? And I gave you a damned haircut. Oh, give me an eyeball cut as well, Patty. Well, you look better anyways. Oh, well, I wouldn't be able to see. Gentlemen, finally, our research is complete. Tim, waffles yes. are superior to pancakes. I knew it all along. Congratulations. <sighs> Oscar, no one likes French toast. Whatever, man. Oscar. You're I can't believe you ever thought that, Oscar. Yeah. There's All right, no well. Institute for you. Maybe you know, if you, you know, you guys keep talking. I'm not important. All right, Oscar. There's this reason I was first in class and you were like third or fourth. 
A close second, I'd say. A distant second. Ladies! Ladies! Ladies, it's time to get drunk on champagne! <gasps> <laughs> these zooms, these zooms have changed our lives. They've changed it. They've changed it. And now we can get drunk together and we can tell all, all the horrible stories that we've been keeping them from each other for 30 years. It's fantastic. That's not your real nose. Oh. Ooh. You're right. Lucille. It isn't my You're right. You're right. It isn't my real nose. You're right. You're right. I thought we were but, being honest. I, well, I, you know what? Might not be my real nose, but those are your real thighs. Oh! Listen, fellas, we gotta mm -hmm. figure out how to get my truck out of the mud. Yep. <laughs> so much mud. <laughs> fellas, yeah. I, got well, I, got a, I got a I got a two by four in my back of my truck that we can use as leverage. Yep, that should work. Four. Jimmy, you've oh, always yeah. been the scientist of the group. Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. Well, I, I went to high school. Oh, well, Mr. Fancy Pants over here. Oh, Mr. Higher Education. All right, well, Amish only goes to eighth grade, so I had no choice, guys. <laughs> you think you're so much better than us just because you had algebra. Yeah. Hey, I what didn't the say hell's algebra? I, heard, I, heard, algebra. I heard Arabs came up with that. Mm. Now... You can't be saying stuff like that, Alfred. Alfred, you're He's right, right, Alfred. It is 2020. Yeah, the year 2020. You can't be saying things like that. Now let's get back to the two by four business, okay? And my shot. I'm gonna. You know, I think, I think Alfred was the one who got my truck stuck in the mud. Like oh, now usual. that's a fun accusation. <laughs> well, I, I didn't trust. I didn't trust the calculations because they were in Arabic numbers. Oh, uh, Alfred, there you go again, you Alfred. You can't you go, stuff like you can't that, go Alfred. Saying it. I guess now I can blame China for everything and be political. Oh, right. oh Alfred, you know Alfred. something, Alfred? I am gonna go in my house. And I am gonna get me a Bud Light. And when I come out here, you better not be here. You big All right, well, bring two Bud Lights back. Three Bud Lights. No, no. That, 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 was a, that was a pretty good nose surgeon you got there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. glad He's I did. Best. He I'm glad I also did it. Best. He is the best. All I said was, yeah. it's not your real one. I didn't say it doesn't look good. It's fabulous. Ladies, all I'm saying is I am 100% natural, and I think that I might be the prettiest one here. <laughs> You're not. You're not. So on both counts, Murray. <laughs> You're not. And you know what? You're not, because you know why? I've had a few of these, and... Um... You know, you're getting a little bit, uh, you're getting a little bit better looking. So, I mean, that wouldn't have happened if you were the prettiest one here. She's right. Okay. Honesty hour. <laughs> I've never liked any of you, and I've always felt so excluded. <laughs> like, you guys get the champagne that, like, is freshly shipped. And I have to do the champagne that was left out on the sink last night. Like, you guys have never liked me. <laughs> well, you keep bragging about how beautiful your real body is compared to the rest of us. You know, it's, it's not endearing. I'm just trying to have body confidence. It's something that we're all striving towards in the end of life. So, so, some of us have to try harder and pay money to, to achieve what you have. You know what? This this Zoom isn't making me feel very good. <laughs> I need to get off. This is a terrible idea. Barbara. Idea. Okay, gentlemen, the new reports are in. I was wrong. French toast. 
is the best breakfast food of all time. Oh, no fucking way, dude. Yeah. What do you say? I got suck it, bitch. Yeah, but then yeah, I, I have to that. suck it. I, I have to suck your penis if I understand that term correctly. That's That doesn't sound appropriate for the work. Doctor, don't don't encourage Oscar. Gosh, uh, I have a text from HR. Yeah, you should probably Excuse answer me. that. As you should. <laughs> Hold on! Oh, I'm really ah, I just, I just wanted some McDonald's. Well, if it weren't sweet and so bad out here. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh. All right. I'm putting it in park. Uh, I want you to know something, Patty. Yeah. I started seeing someone else. Well, not not seeing, but you know. You better buckle the f up. This is going to be no, yes. <laughs> So like birds, they they like do they just drop out of the sky? If they can they die mid like of a heart attack? Do birds have hearts? I assume they, they have hollow bones. Um, <laughs> yeah, and like they can just die. Like humans can die, like have a heart attack, do they like fall out of the sky and then like do you just like splat on the ground? Or do you, like do they know they're gonna die? Do they have that, you know, sixth sense? I don't even know how many senses birds have. It could be like their seventh sense, maybe their third sense. But all I'm saying is birds, they they really remind me of my mortality, and they should for you as well. Hey! <laughs> Hopefully they're out. Yeah, we can hear you clapping from all the way in our various places here. Come on back, Char oh, Char there, Charles disappeared. We're great, thank you players. That was so funny. That was really, really nice. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you for saying so. Uh, uh, we're gonna do another one of these and we're gonna base it on a totally different suggestion. As you can see, the countdown, uh, it comes backwards and forwards and we find out more and more about these crazy characters and the worlds that they live in. So Scarlet, I'm going to ask you to, uh, uh, what's another suggestion from that, from that tech booth over there? Okay, now I need you to give me a number from one to 20. Ooh. Uh, let's say four. Okay, this suggestion is skids and struts. <laughs> skids and struts, players. Anybody can begin. Take it away. So, um, as a child, I had a cat. Um, she was the very first animal I owned. Her name was Diamond Butterfly. And... She was indoors at first, but she started leaving a lot of skids on the carpet. <laughs> um, you know, probably just some kind of malfunction in her back end. I, I mean, I was very young. I didn't really know what was going on, but she got kicked out of the house. Suzanne, it's so lovely to have tea with you today, darling. Oh, <laughs> darling Lucanne, dearie. What? Well, say again. I'm so sorry. I was being very loud and obnoxious and I didn't hear what you said. Oh, the youth. I said, how is your prep school? No, oh, prep school <laughs> is just darling, darling. Oh, getting straight A minuses. It's very nice. Mm. Yes, darling, straight A minuses are very important. You don't want to get A pluses. No one likes a girl who's too smart for her own good. No, oh, and that's what I've learned from my Aunt Lucille. That's you, Aunt Lucille. <laughs> Always teaching me to be a step under the goody two shoes. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, this yeah. meeting of us bartenders is very important. You know, Trump said, you know, put Clorox and shit to, you know, kill the COVID. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I figure we all go around with a suggestion for a mixed drink with bleach. <laughs> okay. Frederick. Frederick, Frederick you really? have been listening. I keep telling you. 
stop listening to this conservative propaganda. We can't go yeah. around making bleach martinis, okay? No. Donnie, Just Donnie, don't... let me talk. Let me talk. You've Came been with... talking, Frederick. <laughs> okay, so you do one part bleach, two parts vodka, and then you do oh a little God. bit of orange juice. And I call it, I, I call it the Donnie Trump shot. Frederick, what is this really about? Is this really about how we don't really hang out anymore with you? Is that what this is really about? I think that's what this yeah, is really about. I think that's really what this is about. <laughs> My like, wife left me. Your opinions. <gasps> it's so great that we escaped the zoo as an ape family. <laughs> Yes, so we, many it, trees. It, it's very unusual that we all escaped together. Well, it takes a team. It takes a. It takes an ape village. <laughs> hey, 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 guys! Hi, hey, guys, guys! You can come over to uh to my house. Come over to my house. You have a. Oh, you have a house over. Oh yeah, I do. I I move I move really fast in the world. I was living in a I was living in a dumpster behind a Seven Eleven for a while. I I I bet you made a lot of friends over there. Hey, hey guys, I'll... guys and apes, 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 apes. apes. store bananas, so... bananas at the bananas. store. No bananas. tree, bananas, bananas. Hey, hey guys, we can't get distracted. We, we've got to, we've got to get to the goal. The goal is my house. I've got bananas. 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 <laughs> bananas. Banana store? Bananas. Banana house. The banana house is definitely the better option. It's safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not allowed back at Disney anymore. God damn it. Uh, should never have adopted any of you kids. <sighs> Like wearing clothes on the ride, Dad. His clothes are really annoying. It's, it's really not what mom would have wanted. She's not even your real mom, all right? You're not Clarence. my real dad. Yeah, I know that. I just said that. Look, when I get on rides, <laughs> I just I feel like I need to dance. You know? Yeah. I just I feel like I need to dance, and maybe that's not a good combination with our whole family thing of wanting to all take our clothes off all at the same time. Yeah. Well, don't have to grind on me. <sighs> well, well, but, but well we that's like how we show love people. in this family. Yeah. We're I never taught you six, that. We're supposed to be six feet apart. Well, that's what well, You can't happen. grind wanted to be six feet apart. I don't grind the the air, whole, It's not grinding at that point. <laughs> I don't know what, what they taught you in that foster home, but... Mom taught me. Mom taught me. Or the woman that was formerly named as mom. That lived yeah. with us. You're There's really a reason she worker. There's a reason she gave you away so easily. You know that, right, Peter? It's because I have a dent in my forehead, I know. It's really big. It's a really big dent. You could, like, you could like cook an egg in that. It's Dad, you're quite, being it's really mean to Peter right now. I don't like it. Clarice. Oh, Thanks, Clarice. Clarice. You always have my back. Let's Peter. do the family dance together. Yeah, family dance. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check the return policy on that. I feel sweaty. Guys, I I got a house you bad body. idea. Yeah, I yeah, you you shouldn't have gone in the store. I, I'm sorry. You only have one banana, and I just ate it. We need more of the bananas. Well, I'm sorry that I that I didn't tell you to go to the store. I I was just. Oopa can't for be myself. trusted with bananas. I'm gonna oh, go guys, and get some more bananas for everybody. Okay, bye. Woohoo. My wife left, alright? All I have left are these conservative 
uh, Twitter accounts and shit. It's just, <laughs> Listen it to makes me, me buddy. feel powerful. Listen to me, buddy. You know something, Frederick? You don't just have those conservative news stations. You got us, right? That's yeah, what they whatever. said you'd say. You're part All right. of the liberal Who's agenda oh to make God. men nice to other people. All right. Oh. I didn't want it to have to come to this, <laughs> but I think we're better fighters than you, buddy. You ain't putting any bleach in anyone's drinks, you hear? Yeah, we're only putting bleach in your throat. Yeah! <laughs> Until Shit. you say that you love women and they're... Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I've arranged anyway. you to meet a Rockefeller. I think he would be a good marriage material. Oh, oh no. Um, that's a very nice gesture, Aunt Lucille, but, um, well, I have a hardy, hardy confession to make to you. Oh, niece, what? Well, brace yourself, put your tea down. Ooh. <laughs> I enjoy sexual pleasures from <gasps> women. <gasps> I knew you were a chip off the old block. Oh, I'm Lucille. <laughs> this is absolutely splendid. You just wait one minute. I have some materials that you might find interesting. Oh? Mm. <laughs> um, yes. So, Diamond Butterfly uh, had to be put outside. Um, and after she was put outside, uh, well, I, I believe she got stolen, um, which was very upsetting to me because, well, she was my, my first cat and I really loved her, but uh, I always imagined that the man on the moon was Diamond Butterfly just looking down at me. I am the litter box. I am full of skid marks. Yes! I am a tire, and I am falling apart on the highway. I am the wet food tray, and I haven't been cleaned in days. I am a torn headband in the litter box. I am a bag of steak and shake, and I am completely filled. <laughs> we, we are, are a highway, highway stop. stop. With we, we are a highway stop. We are a highway stop. We are a Right. Yes! Yay. Give it up for all of our players. Oh my gosh, keep your videos on. Thank you so much. Oh, give it up for the players. You can hear your resounding applause all the way from here. Amazing! Thank you, <laughs> Franklin. Uh, oh, give it up for our players. Give it up for Crystal Marie. Give it up for Adam. Give it up for Jess. Give it up for Kenny. Give it up for Charles. And give it up for Scarlett in the tech booth over there. Thank you so much. Give it up for awesome. Yeah, give it up for me. Uh, we are Letter of March Theater Company. If you got a free ticket today, we do a lot of stuff for free uh, uh, all over the place. Uh, if you want to see us keep doing more free stuff, you can visit our Patreon at www.patreon.com slash LOM Theater, and you can become a monthly member and contribute. It's great. Uh, in the meantime, hang out with us. Uh, chat with us. See what's up. Uh, we're going to be here for another 15 minutes or so. Uh, song? And now I'm just singing along with uh, William Onyebor here. Give it up one more time for our players. Thank you so much. But feel free to turn your video on and come chat with us. Yeah, so there's also a bunch of suggestions. So we'll give it a oh, yeah. minutes if you want to stick around. We'll probably stick around for another like 10 minutes. 
book that we can play some games with some suggestions that we have yet to see. Some good suggestion games. Oh my god. So I thought you were owls originally? Me too. Like, owls. and then you were monkeys? I thought you were owls. Well, that's what I <laughs> just started with.